Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when your LAN cable on your PlayStation 5 keeps on disconnecting from the internet. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So the PlayStation 5 seems to have an issue with some LAN cables where it keeps disconnecting from the internet and a message will pop up on your screen. Now there's various different reasons why this is happening, but I think the most common reason is because there is not a good enough connection with the LAN cable you currently are using. Maybe it's simply not plugged in all the way so you can disconnect it and try plugging it back in. Otherwise you can hold it down and then insert like a paper clip or a toothpick. Warning though, this may damage your PlayStation 5 and you can force it to make a better connection by pushing it down a little bit. I would suggest going out and buying an entirely new cable, preferably a Cat8 cable. So the cables I'm using currently are Cat5 E's, which work well, but a new cable might work better with your PlayStation 5, creating a solid connection as you can see with this one, it doesn't nearly push down as much as my yellow cable. Then also when it comes to your LAN cable on the PlayStation 5, it gets really hot back here next to it. So if you do have your PlayStation 5 in a confined space, try putting it on top like a countertop or your TV stand, wherever it is. Make sure it's getting plenty of airflow back here because if this overheats, it could be shutting down your PlayStation 5's Wi-Fi or network connection. Also, look at your wireless router and make sure all your LAN cables are connected and firmly pushed in. Or maybe try a different port, switch it from 1 to 2 or 3 or 4, etc. Then push in the reset button right here with a toothpick and hold it down for about 15 to 20 seconds. And this should reset your router. And sometimes this helps fix just strange issues. Then you can try unplugging your router from the wall outlet again for about one to two minutes and see if that works as well. Now on the PlayStation 5, some things we can try are going to settings, go to network, and go to settings and go to the right and go to setup internet connection. Now find your currently connected wired LAN cable, press options on it, and let's go on down to forget now. Press OK. Then go on down to where it says setup wired LAN. Select this name it whatever you want and go to connect. Now reconnect to your network. All right, so I'm connected. I'm gonna press options on it and then go to advanced settings. Now under this screen, let's go on down to where it says DNS settings and switch this from automatic to manual. And then for the primary DNS type in 8.8.8.8, .8 just like this. Then go to the secondary and type in 8.8.8. 8 4.4, .4, press R2 and done. Go to the MTU settings, switch this from on Mac to manual, and type in 1472. Just like this, press R2 and done, and go over to OK. Now, if you are having problems with your wired LAN connection, what you could try is pressing options on here, go to Wi Fi frequency bands, switch it from automatic to 5G, 5 gigahertz, and connect to one of your 5 gigahertz connections and see if that provides you a fast download speed. Now let's press options and go to power and completely 100% turn off our PlayStation 5. We're gonna launch it in the safe mode menus. Now on our PlayStation 5, let's turn this back around. And since we are turning off our PlayStation 5, there's gonna be no light down here whatsoever. It's not gonna be orange. If you have it in rest mode, you wanna go ahead and turn it on and then turn it off. Now what we wanna do is hold down the power button we will hear one beep initially, and then we will hear another beep like five to 10 seconds later. And this will launch into the safe mode menu. And we need to plug in our controller directly with a USB cable for this to work. So let's plug in our controller now, and then press the PlayStation button. So I can see it's charging up. Let's press the PlayStation button. It should turn like green or teal. And then you can use the D-pad to operate the safe mode menu. Now under here, we want to go down to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database and go to option number one first, clear system software cache and completely clear this out. Then once your PlayStation 5 restarts, bring back to safe mode and go to option number two, rebuild database. 
and it says it may take a few hours but in my experience it only takes like five to ten minutes if this video did indeed help you out go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and if any of these solutions helped you guys out make sure you leave a comment for other people